Hey guys, Live for Love TV. I want you to like, share, and subscribe. Big up yourself. Welcome back to Live for Love TV. Today's the 20th day of the third month of the 22nd year inside the 21st century. Hope everyone's doing well out there. I was speaking to a friend of mine the other day, as I often do with some of my people, and we have these certain little discussions. And we were discussing certain things that are happening right now on the planet in different ways. And obviously everyone's got their own view as to what's happening wherever you, where actually where you're living or wherever you're seeing things on the network, on the news network. But he then said to me, well, we're living in the end times. And it brought me back to some of the things I've been hearing of the last 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, even from as a little child, by the appearance or somebody else talking about these end times. You always hear this thing and then you look around and you think to yourself, what, what, what are they talking about? What, what is their evidence of the end times? Where did it come from? I mean, I know in scriptures it talks about a time that's going to come to an end or the end times or the end of the world and stuff like that. That's the only evidence these people have of an end time. The problem with that end times is how long does an end time last? Because if that scripture or that book was written 1600 years ago or thereabouts, or even longer than that, and it talked about the end times, then the end times we know so far are at least 1600 years. But then it was talk of end times 3000 years ago and 5000 years ago and 10,000 years ago. So the end times seems like it's a, it's a forever time. And what is the evidence that people have of this end time? This is what really gets me. War, rumors of war, pestilence, famine. Now, when has there been a time on this planet that these things have not been going on at some part in the world, somewhere in the world, at, at, at you know, any given time? When has there ever been a time like that? Who, who, who knows history? 2,000 years ago, was there no wars and rumors of wars? Was there no pestilence and no famines? Of course there was. So again, what is the evidence of their end times? There is, they don't need any evidence, it seems. And if this planet goes on for another 50,000 years, they'll be saying the same thing to the young people growing up. Now, there's a problem. The reason why I bring up the end times, because people can believe whatever they want. No problem. You want to believe in it, that we're living in the end times, no problem. But when you believe of this end times so wholeheartedly, it's very hard to plan for the next 10, 15, 20, 100,000 years if with a concept like that. And if you look at some of the people who actually have built their uh, economies and their kingdoms to go on to the next century or the 100 years, these are people who very really believe in any such thing as an end time. They don't believe in it at all. So what about those people who do believe in the end times? You can look at countries all over the world, Africa, Caribbean, very strong believers in an end time. What are they building? They're not going to build anything. They're not going to have new ideas or ideologies or concepts or, or economy or economic ideas because they believe they're in the end times. What's the point of building for something if you know you're, you're at the end? What's the point? This is why I say this end time thing is, is not only, oh, it's just something that people say. So it become, it's become a very dangerous idea for us and for us to pass on to our younger ones, to our children. My grandparents believed in the end times. And they died. My great grandparents believed it and they died. The great, great, and the great, great, and the great, great, and the great, great, going back and back and back. And they all believed in this end times, and they all died. And the time didn't end. What ended was they did. And what would probably end is me and you. But what doesn't end is the times. And if there's no evidence of end times, and doesn't need to be any evidence of end times, we need to get it out of our concept. If it comes, let it come. But the trouble is that you need to know how to build. You need to how to project. You cannot bring up your youngsters with this concept constantly of the end times, then people are always just hanging on to that day on hanging on to, to life by a thread without being able to build. As I said before, an adult that has that in their concept really has nothing to teach their child. As far as I'm concerned, they have nothing to teach them. Nothing at all. You can't, you can't project with a, with a concept that the world is coming to an end and it could happen at any given day. You cannot project. You need to have some sort of future concept. You need to believe or have a, have a belief in yourself that, that you're going to go on, the place that you're in is going to go on. When you, when you lose that or they say you lose all hope, then all hope is lost. So let's get out of this end times thinking. Let's look at ourselves, you know, honestly. And when people say about these end times, we know it's a concept. We know 
it's a religious belief and people can't get out of it. But just remember, I say this and I, I boldly say it, me and you watching this will end long before the time or the world ends. Long before. And the people watching this or in a thousand years from now, if they do, will say, why were these people talking about, a, about an end time? Where did, where did they get this concept from? Look how, look how technology, I've watched people so much not want to get into internet. They don't want to get into, into, into this Babylon system because we're living at the end times. And now they've been left behind. Now they're, they're screaming blue murder about how their finances are bad. They don't know how to get online. They don't know how to do anything online. Where almost everything you do now, jobs, money, anything you try to do, sales, is online. And the people who believe in the end times, they, they're, all, they're always trying to bring it down, say, oh no, end times, it's no good. So we don't need all of this stuff. This stuff can't help us. We're going into some mark of the beast. And, and this is the kind of concept that these people have. And as they, while they have this concept, they impoverish themselves and they impoverish their next generations. It's a terrible way to live, to actually have an end time concept. As I said before, anything can end at any given time. Anything can end. But to live for an end makes no sense. If someone ever comes to you and says, you know, you get a terminal, if you get a terminal, well, let's say a terminal diagnosis tomorrow, don't go looking on the internet and all these gurus and stuff and, and, and how, what's a good way to die and, and look for someone who knows how to die. No one who's alive knows how to die. No matter what they say to you and whether they claim they've died a million times in a million lives, nobody who's alive now knows how to die. If you, if, if you get a terminal illness and you're in that terminal state of mind, the only thing a person can tell you is how to live. And that's what we do until the day we die. So if somebody comes to you with, 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 you know, in that state, or you're in that state right now, try to learn how to live more abundantly than you lived the day before you got the, the diagnosis. That's what you do. You don't learn to, to learn how to die. You learn how to live. And if you believe in an end times, learn how to live more abundantly until that end time comes, should it come. But don't even consider it as an end time because you're not going to plan, you're not going to project, and you're not going to have any way of conceiving new ideas coming up with new concepts when you have that kind of a mentality. Anyway, take care. See you soon. Live for Love TV.